What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. As you can see on the screen, don't forget to vote for which fighter you want to see in the next video. Either a like or a dislike, and whichever one gets more votes will be featured in the next video. But here we go. Light heavyweight action. I am Kazuhiro Nakamura, and my opponent obviously is John Jones. No surprise there. But as you can see, Nakamura's got that beautiful dashing hook to the body, which not many fighters have, and it is very useful. And I've been using uh, Nakamura a little bit more, and he's actually pretty fun to use, mainly because of his throws. He has a bunch of throws from a bunch of different positions, and also has, I believe he has power knees, and some other stuff too. I, I'll probably do some of it in the fight. He's got the hammer fists, obviously, there, which are really good. But his throws are really what I've been enjoying. You know, put people in a clinch, and they don't really expect to get tossed. And then, uh, yeah. Because not many people are used to actually fighting this guy. And a lot of people, when you choose him in the fighter selection screen, you'll see them just sit there. And what they're actually doing is looking over his stats because they've probably never seen anyone pick him before but he is not the best fighter to choose especially when you're going up against John Jones but you know if you're kind of you know wanting to if you've been playing this game for as long as I have since pretty much it came out it, you got to kind of switch stuff up so Nakamura is fun to use and I do recommend trying him out and yeah it's very satisfying when you actually beat somebody with him but I take his back here, looking to get another throw. I was trying to see if he had the throw from the back, but I just threw him down like that. And he does have the power knees from this position. So that pretty much means I think he does have them from side control as well. So that is really good. And I'm faking the, trans uh, faking the strike there. Some people have been asking in the comments how you do that. It's just you hold the... Um, LT and LB, I believe, at the same time. The same way you faint in the stand-up, you can actually faint strikes on the ground. And when you do that, it totally throws off their timing and you can uh, land some strikes. Because a lot of people will just block the first strike. or So you act like you're going to throw the first strike and you just don't. You faint it and then you strike. So I've said that in some videos, but a lot of people are new and they might not have known that. So that's how you do it. It's all about mixing those up, uh, getting them down, practicing them, and you know, getting the timing right to where you can really start messing with people. Because I've I've played people who, even to me, they confuse me with their timing and their you know they'll all kinds of little things you can do when you're on top of somebody throwing strikes to you know get them off their game and get them uh, throw just super weird timing and you know kind of post your guy down. And then come up real quick and then faint. And then there's all kinds of crazy uh, things that are people are starting to do in this game as it gets, you know, people just start to master it more and more and more. It's it's really interesting to see. But I get him down here with the uh, trip takedown and his stamina was low and I would go for the Kimura. And that is going to be the fight. He was low stamina and I took advantage, took him down, got the submission, fight over hope you enjoyed that video guys make sure to vote for who you want to see in the next video also follow me on twitch tv and twitter till next time this has been mma game peace winner.